hello guys. You know, this is a quick look at uh, why people shoot in raw, raw format. And you know, the good thing about my cameras and in all other cameras, pretty much that shoot in raw, is that you you have a a setting that's JPEG and RAW, so it's usually you know RAW plus JPEG, which shoots the you know the largest JPEG your camera will shoot plus a RAW image. And a lot of other cameras have you can choose the size of JPEG too, but mine doesn't. It shoots in a in a 15.1 megapixel JPEG and a RAW image. So with these images right here, that's what I did. I shot RAW plus JPEG. And you can see uh, I don't have the codec for uh, Windows to display them, so it's just displaying it as a, you know, generic. I don't know if Windows does have a codec, to be honest with you. It might. I, I need to check into that. Um, but anyway, that's what it looks like. That's what it does uh, when you shoot RAW plus JPEG. And then what you can do... <clears throat> um, well, this isn't a raw image. It's a nice image though, look at that. Actually turned out pretty good. This is the first I've seen of that. Uh, anyway, when you want to develop a raw image, uh, you need to go into a special software like Canon's Digital Photo Professional or Adobe Camera Raw or whatever. So once you get you know the software you need, you can see right here, you know, this image is, is marked raw, this one's marked raw, this one, this one, this one. So you just need to, you know, bring up, what, bring one up. So I'll bring that up. Gives you a little tool here. So there's my raw image. So I, I have a lot more uh, options here than I would if this was a JPEG. And the main options include exposure compensation and white balance. Those are the things you can't do with a JPEG. So let's take exposure compensation. There's, there it is at shot settings. I, you know, the sky is blown out, but you know, the, the rest of the image is, is really quite pretty well exposed. But I'm going to bring it down, and as I bring it down, you can see the mountains start coming in. You know, coming in better. You know, I I really think it looks better a little a little darker, and that's just something you can't do with a JPEG. So, really nice to be able to have that. Um, here's my white balance options. Or I can do it by color temperature, but for the sake of this video, I will uh, skip that. Of course, I guess I can show it to you. If you choose color temperature here, and then click Tune, it gives you some options. So if you click Tune, you can pretty much choose the color tone and saturation by, by number or you can click anywhere on this wheel and, and set your white balance. So, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna go with uh, cloudy. And then you can adjust a bunch of other stuff, picture style and uh, contrast and saturation. The, re the reason these are already adjusted in the raw image is because I have my when I took this picture, I had my camera set to bump up the saturation by three ticks and the contrast by one. So that, for some reason, comes through on the raw image. I, I'm just finding out about this. I, I didn't know it did that. I'm gonna start shooting at uh, standard um, on all my raw images. So anyway, th this is... Uh, make a couple of fine adjustments here. You know, I can also go into this RGB tab and, and, do, and do a little work as well. But that just goes by the, I believe it just goes by the color space, the RGB color space. 
I don't know too much about it. I know you can use this with JPEGs, but I'm shooting in the RGB color space. I think that's what it's for. But anyway, you can really make a lot of, uh, you can make these pictures look quite a bit better. You know, so for instance, here's shot settings right here for uh, exposure compensation. And here's more what, you know, more what I'd like it to look like. So, makes it really nice to have that. I just can't emphasize it enough. So, once you have it all set how you want with your raw image, you can go up here to convert and save and either name it the same or rename it and choose your format. In DPP, you can you can uh, choose to make it a 16-bit TIFF if you want to, which is a which is a lossless format that a lot of professionals use. I've never tried it, but I will just go with JPEG. You just hit save, and it will process the file, leave your raw file the way it is, and output a JPEG. So now I would have my original raw file. I can go back to the well, in fact, I'll just show you. So now I've got the original, I'll just show you the JPEG. Let's see, use good old arrow snap here. So there's what it was, there's what the JPEG is. And here's the new JPEG that I've made. You can see it, it the mountains look better. Um, you know, I'm not sure if this is the greatest example ever, but it's an example of what you can do and uh, why, you know, what people do with raw images. So anyway, that's just kind of an example and you guys have a great day.